Today, we have transformed Brat TV Studios into the prize wall. Three players are gonna take on increasingly hard rounds of trivia so they can compete to win these amazing prizes. My name is Sarah and I'm your host and I'll be guiding you through this whole game. Do you think you have what it takes to answer all these questions? Get your thinking caps on and get ready because we are going to take on the wall and risk it all. Let's meet the players. So Can't wait, dude. <laughs> so I'm noticing a resemblance with you guys. Are you guys related? Oh yeah, yeah we're yeah. related. We're, we're all brothers. Siblings. What are you guys' names? I'm Alexander. My name is Mason. And my name is Harrison. Perfect, nice to meet you guys. All right. In this game, there's gonna be three rounds of 10 questions each. Before each round starts, I'll let you know the category and then you guys have to choose as a group who's gonna answer the questions for that round. If you get a question wrong, you actually lose the same amount of tickets you would have just gotten. All right. You get nine power-ups per game. But you gotta be careful when you choose them because once you use a power-up, you can't use it again. It's done for the rest of the game. Oh. So choose wisely. And also as a last little bonus, there is a little surprise twist we got going on for the final round. But I won't let you guys know anything about it. Our first category is science. Wait. I'm not doing it. So. I should go. No, no, no. I think I should go. What? Fine. All right. Thank you. It yeah. is chosen. Let's get to science. Alrighty, Alexander. Why did you choose science? I find it kind of a simple subject, and I really, I really do pay attention in science. For your first question, for ten tickets, how many stars are there in the solar system? One. One. The sun. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Perfect, let's move on to question number two. Including standalone movies, have there been more or less than 10 Star Wars movies? How does this relate to science? More than 10, because like it's a huge franchise. Oh! More. One more! Oh. Nice! Just there are one. 11. Let's Perfect. go! Question number three. What is the world's largest mammal? Whale. Do you have any specifics you wanna go with that? Sure, maybe just a humpback whale. Oh, the blue whale! Blue whale! Alright, question number four. What weather condition also shares its name with Kylie Jenner's daughter? So let's use a uh, tag team. Which means the inactive players actually can help him out answer this question. I don't know. Uh, there's rain, there's a... Uh, uh, sunshine. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh, I don't think you should have chose this power up. I don't think I should have chose this power no, up. That was very... Uh, Wasted. Very wasted. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with hail. Stormy! Oh, that's a good one! So question number five. What is the correct name of Elon Musk's child? Um... Let's go with D. Ooh! Oh, you were far off. I was far off. Question number six. Name three of the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, uh, this is kind of an older person question, so I'm using the power up, ask the crew. All right, let's do it. So now that means you can choose anyone on our crew to help you out with this question. Um, how about you? Yes, yeah, you. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. AJ. Hey, AJ. All right, come on up here, AJ. <laughs> woo woo! Let's give him a, give him a, like, a little applause for him. Woo. All righty, AJ. How do you feel as being the quote unquote older person to answer this question? Pretty confident. Oh, all right. Cool. I'm a 90s kid, so. So you know these characters? Yeah. Perfect. Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. Oh. Perfect. Do you know the fourth one? Uh, Leonardo. Oh, let's find out. There we go! Yes! Let's go! All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty, so question number seven. What are the only two letters that do not appear on the periodic table of elements? I'm going for the bottom two again. I'm going for the bottom two again. Ooh. Find out. Got one correct. All right, let's move on to question number eight. Which planet in our solar system is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Roman goddess of love and beauty. Mm -hmm. is this is, it's gotta be Venus. Let's go! Venus! Question number nine. How many bones are in the average adult human skeleton? That's a lot of human bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's do 206. 
Let's go. 206. Learn that in science class two. Alrighty, this is your 10th and final question. What image might fit in this group? We have hmm. a bat, a spider, and an iron. A bat, a spider, and an iron. I'm thinking of Iron Man because yeah. I mean. See a bat, spider, mm -hmm. and then some man holding an iron. And maybe it can reform some sort of superhero. Batman. Spider-Man. What about the last one? Hmm. Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. So if you had to choose a fourth picture, what would you put in there? Ant-Man. Would you look at that? It's an ant. Perfect. So you got it. So we're going to tally up all your points, and we'll be right back to see what you got. Can I get a little drum roll from you guys? How many tickets you got? You got 270 tickets. 270 oh tickets. God. Yes. So that wow. means... You can choose anything you want. You could choose a couple of things more towards the bottom that add up to 270, or you can choose something a little higher. All oh, up to you. All up so to me. Much. I think you should get the beauty gift card because you need some beauty. Let's use the headphones. Headphones? Headphones, yes. Do you want to use your last 70 tickets in the bottom shelf? Yes, definitely. Maybe LED lights. All right, perfect. I'm so excited for you. Let's move on to round two. And your category is... P. Me. Why? Why should you I mean, go? Like, there's no good reason. I'm pretty buff, you know? No. And it's like PE really. I mean, like, ugh. All right, you got to vote. Point to the person that's going to go. Three, two, one, point. There we go. All right, my friend. So, Harrison, why do you feel confident in PE? I exercise. You exercise? Like, I exercise more than these two, definitely. He's okay. correct. He's lying. He's correct. What do you mean? Your first question. Caitlin Clark recently beat the NCAA scoring record. What sport does she play? You know that feeling when you're ready for a test and you look at the first question, you know you're going to fail? Yeah. That's me right now. Can I use pass the buck? Pass the buck means you don't have to answer this question, but your points actually roll over to the next question. Question number two. The Paris 2024 Summer Olympics are coming up. What are five Olympic sports? Instead of actually answering this question, I think I'll eat my words. Which means instead of answering this question, you have to eat something that may or may not taste very good, but you'll get the points. Yes. Okay. All right, let's bring out the food. It is a peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich. Oh, peanut butter sounds good, but like the sour one. Never oh. mind. Oh, God. Was it worth it? Oh, 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 the flavor. Oh my God. I heard that. I could do this. My God. I could do this. Just one more bite. Oh, ew. Oh. The struggle. Oh. I'm sure you, you did it. Bite, right? You did it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Wow. This better be worth it. Better be worth this it. Better be. <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it really worth it? Question number three. Which YouTube star is known for subjecting people to strenuous physical challenges to earn large sums of money, like when he recreated Netflix's Squid Game or in videos titled Ages 1 through 100, Fight for $500,000, and Survive 100 Days in a Circle, Win $500,000? There's only one person that I know on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I believe it's Mr. Beast. Perfect. Let's try Mr. Beast. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Beast! And question number four. If you wanted to get bigger arm muscles, which workout should you try? So it'd be either dead bugs or lunges. Well, lunges is the answer. Lunges? Yes. All right, let's Maybe. go with lunges. Curls. Curls. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is. You know what lunges are, Harrison? Yeah. Do you know what curls no. are? Maybe. But curls. He thought it was a sit up. I right. feel so dumb right now. Question number five. Is the average female height in the United States above or below 5'2"? The average female height would be above? Yes! Above. It is 5'4". <sighs> Continuing on to question number six. Which LA Dodgers player who broke baseball's color barrier is Chadwick Boseman depicting in this image? 
baseball is not my cup of tea. So I have no clue. Yeah, I don't think, I'll just put nothing for my answer. I don't know this one. I think Bro's gonna get it incorrect. Jackie Robinson. Just a thought. We gotta know our LA Dodgers history just a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. Question number seven. Which Williams sister has won more major titles, Serena or Venus? Serena. Yes! Yay! How are you doing this? How? <laughs> I'm just that professional. And question number eight. Which basketball player is known as his airness? Larry Bird seems like a goofy name for a basketball player. I'm gonna say A. Ooh. Michael Jordan. Dude. Yeah, I think my luck has ran out, but. Uh. Question number nine. How many dimples are there on a standard golf ball? 86 doesn't seem like that much. I'll go with C. What? what? How? <laughs> Because he's, he's, a, he's a genius. He's, he's a pro at everything. I'm a brilliant he person. No genius. He's, yeah. he's oh guessing God. everything. I'm, like a, I'm not guessing everything, I swear. I'm, I'm just that knowledgeable. So your 10th and final question is, one clothing item you may wear during PE is shorts. What year was YouTube shorts introduced? 2020 or 2022? I would like to use Moneyball. Moneyball, this question is now worth double the points. I think I started watching YouTube shorts during my time in middle school. And during the start of middle school, I think it was the year 2020 or 20, 2021. So I think I'd say YouTube shorts was introduced in the year 2020. 2020! Yes! All right! Yes! You ready to find out what you got? Yes. All right, little drum roll. Zero points. All right. Harrison, you got 290 tickets. So, let's find Ooh. out what you want to get. All right. All right, same thing as before. You can use your 290 tickets however you'd like. You get something a little bit higher on the 200 ticket level. You can do the 100s to get a couple, or you can go a bunch of 50s. All up to you. I'll get the headphones and the pouch. All right, and now let's move on to round three. All righty, so our category for round three is English. No. I'm, that's my worst subject. No, I regret this so much. I should have went for the PE one. How do you feel about how you might have to write essays the rest of your life, depending on your job? You just got me thinking about that. You're welcome. Anyway, let's move on to the questions. <laughs> Question number one. Taylor Swift just released her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. Can you name three poets? I do not know any. Oh, shoot. Many others. Oh, I should I, oh. Let's go on to the second question. Who wrote Romeo and Juliet? I'm gonna go with C, William Shakespeare. Dang. <laughs> William Shakespeare. Question number three. Which was published first? Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief or The Hunger Games? I don't know, Percy Jackson seems like it was published much earlier than The Hunger Games. So I'm gonna go with Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Woo, yes! Yay. I'd had a feeling about it, yes. Question number four, identify this common phrase. Is this like one of those brain-breaking riddles or like, oh. <gasps> hmm. Is this some type of food or am I supposed to? I'm going with eggs, I don't know. Scrambled I eggs! I never thought, oh wow. Question number five. Which English actress played Elizabeth Swan in Pirates of the Caribbean? So, you know how Harrison said nothing for his answer? Yeah. I might as well go with that, you know? Let's do it. Kiara <sighs> Knightley. Cool. Question number six. What's the name of the protagonist in The Catcher in the Rye? And I'll go with double talk. Which means you can guess twice. I'm gonna go with B and C. <laughs> I didn't! I couldn't put A, I couldn't. Make a comeback, dude. Comeback of the century. This is my worst subject, remember that. Let's try the next one. All right. What word should come next in this series? This is a nursery rhyme. <gasps> Ooh, your brothers think they might know it, so maybe we can use Resme if you don't get it right. I'll go for it. All right. <laughs> So with Resmi, once you give a guess, if it is incorrect, then your brothers will be able to answer for you. Runoff? I don't know. 
Let's, Let's go, go with Runa. So what do you think it is? The itsy bitsy spider came out the water spout. Oh! Down came the rain. That makes and sense. Wash the spider out. It's again. Again! Oh, thank you. Yay. You guys actually got it right. Wow. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Question number eight. What is the name of the process by which a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly? which shares a name with Franz Kafka's famous novel and song on Playboy Cardi's rap album, Whole Lot of Red. Transformation? It's the simplest one I could go for. Transformation. Oh. Metamorphosis. Wow, that's a huge word too. Mm -hmm. Question number nine. Which last name is shared by the author of To Kill a Mockingbird and the co-founder of Marvel Comics who famously had cameos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? What was his name? Stan? I don't know why. I'm thinking of Stanley. So we'll go for the last name of Lee? Yes, Lee. Let's go for Lee. Lee! Ooh. We have Harper Lee for To Kill a Mockingbird and Stan Lee for Marvel. All right, this is your 10th and final question. Ooh. Which of the following is not a type of poem? Isn't it simile like, doesn't it connect two words that relate to each other? So I'm gonna go with simile. <laughs> and yeah, it is. Because it connects two different <laughs> words. All right, let's get a drum roll, see how many tickets you got. Ready? All righty, Mason, you got 190 tickets. Yes. Hey. Ooh, that's Perfect. good. Oh, nice. nice. Wow. Wow. That means you don't exactly reach the 200, but that's okay. You can yes. get something off here and still something in the bottom. I feel like I should go for this little art kit thingy <laughs> and the hand thingy. Perfect. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, when we started this game, I let you guys know there was a surprise twist in the final round. Yeah. So, yeah. what that means is, Harrison, because you had the most tickets, you get to answer one final question to see if you can get the grand prize. So, congratulations to all three of you. Alexander and Mason, it was so much fun. And I hope to see you guys next time. But Harrison, hang on back. We're gonna have you answer one last question. All right, all right. thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, Harrison, your grand prize would be two theme park tickets if you get this question right. Put these five U.S. presidents in order from earliest to latest. I think I'd say Abraham Lincoln, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, John Tyler, and Richard Nixon. Let's find out. Dang it. So, at least I proved to be better than Dumb and Dumber, so <gasps> it's all good. Do they know you said that? I hope not. Shh, that's okay. They won't know. They won't know. <laughs> well, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to our players for joining us, and thank you so much for our viewers at home watching us. Come back next time and watch three new players take on the wall and risk it all.